so hi guys in today's video um, this is the part 7 of the tutorial and I will going to show you in this tutorial in this part I will going to show you how to test a uh, if we have a successful connection so last time I have already assigned the um, an IP address on this um, PC and all of these ports right here I already assigned an IP address on these this all of this PC and all of these ports and I'm pretty sure you, if you want if you did not watch the previous video just basically make sure to watch the part the very first part of this tutorial which is the very first the very beginning and to learn uh, and how to do it so um, in this video I will going to send packets data on uh, to test if we have a successful connection and let's just start it out so to test if you have a successful connection you can have select this I can right here which is a PDU and it's called a PDU that is means that packets data and um, just click that and if you want to test from this router to this router it has a successful connection as you can see from this router this router to this router as you can see it is it has a successful connection from this router to this router it has a successful connection so let's test the, uh, the the PC so if we test this just go on this router click that test that on this computer if they have successful connection and as you can see it's successful from router 1 to PC which is 192.168.1.4 it has a successful connection so clear that all to avoid confusion and just you know click the router and just oh delete that so test this from router to this PC it is successful so from this router oh so from this router to this PC and is successful from this router to this PC this is successful from this router to this PC this is successful from this router to this PC and it is successful from this router to this PC this is successful from this router to this PC and we have a successful connection um, as you can see so for that you can see oh we d we're done there so from this router to this PC and it is successful it is successful it is successful so if you have a failed connection from this router to this PC or from here to here or just from he out uh, from here to here um, you can fix that by just uh, checking if you have the right IP address of the uh, fast Ethernet and as you can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and I have labeled it 192.168.4.1 and um, make sure if you have the right so as you can see it is the same and it is basically right so if you're different for that one and that is must be for that one right there so um also you need to check the default gateway guys and the ip address of the computer so as you can see i have 4.2 and if we try to sorry for that again 
that is the network address is 4.0 and for this PC and as you can see I have 4.2 and you must have 4.2 on the uh, I mean the on the IP address so as you can see I have 4.2 and that is right so as you can see 4.2 and that is basically right and that, that make sure to um, focus guys focus make sure to uh, have the right default gateway so my default gateway is 4.1 and that is must be the same on this fast ethernet port right here and the IP address of that is this IP address and that must be the same in with the default gateway so use this fast ethernet IP address for the default gateway if you did not do that you can have a failed but if if you think that all of this is right all of them is right you can fix that by going to the um, let's say this fast ethernet um, the config and the fast ethernet 0.0, .0 which is the port right here and you can have to um, you know just turn off the status uncheck it and turn this on check it again but I will not do that so just turn that on off and turn that on to refresh and wait that maybe 10 minutes it will have a successful connection uh, sometimes in Cisco Packet Tracer, it will not um, s be successful. You just have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to, to um, you know, just wait. So, uh, on the next, and I think that it's, that, that is, uh, that's it for this video, guys. And for the next video, which is the part 8 of the of the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial and this video is going to do to be the bar part 7 and continue watching in the part 8 because I will be having a static routing so what is a static routing so guys static routing is a form of routing that occurs occurs when a router uses a manually configured routing entry rather than information from a dynamic routing traffic in many cases, static routes are manually configured by a network administrator by adding in entries into a routing table. So to do a routing and a static routing, so as you can see, if you want to connect a specific network address or a network, sorry for that, if you want to connect a network, this network, if you want to connect this network, to this network you have to IP route 